Hello everyone. Welcome to Fluent Financials, what you should know for the week of August 23rd. My name is Mike Lanise and I'm your portfolio manager at Fluent Financial. Stocks rebounded on Friday after the Dallas Federal Reserve President Robert Kaplan said the, th the surge in coronavirus cases could cause him to adjust his views on taking away the Fed's stimulus punch bowl. Kaplan previously spooked markets when he became the first Fed official to say it should consider tapering sooner than anticipated, tapering being removing stimulus from the marketplace. Following Kaplan's comments, U.S. Treasuries erased earlier gains with the 10-year yield ending the week at 1.26%. The dollar slid as well from its nine-month highs. Friday's bounce was not enough to prevent the three major indices from finishing the week lower as concerns over China regulation weighed on the markets. With the Dow dipping 1.1%, the Nasdaq was down 0.7%, and the S&P slipped 0.6%. Oil was climbing on Monday morning amid a broader market rebound after capping the longest run of declines in more than three years. The 17% slide over these last three weeks in Brent futures was met by as much as a 3.2% increase again Monday morning, rallying with equities and other commodities after slipping below $65 a barrel on Friday. Part of the reason is that China is being credited with containing the Delta variant and that demand should be coming back online. Year to date, the S&P is up 18 and a quarter percent while our stock portfolio VNO is up 16.67%. For the week ahead, market watchers will be locked in on the Federal Reserve Bank's Kansas City Annual Economic Policy Symposium as the highlight event of the week. While no major policy announcements are expected to come out of this meeting, Chairman Jerome Powell's roadmap on how the Fed plans to taper will be watched closely. Economics throughout this week include reports on existing and new home sales, as well as durable goods and the second quarter GDP number. Earnings reporting this week include Best Buy, Dick Sporting Goods, and Hewlett Packard. We have one holding that we'll be reporting this week into it. We have some Barron's mentions this week. Big Tech is recommended in a big way, with long-term upside for Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, and Microsoft, and that is detailed on the Barron's cover story. The five mega caps are said to still have the best business models on the planet and look relatively cheap as cloud potential continues to grow. Again, that is according to Barron's. For an options update, we just completed the five-week August option cycle, and our stock income portfolio generated 1.29% during the cycle. We sold 60% of the calls to generate that money, 20% of, of our positions were called away from us, and the portfolio as a whole was up 1.88% for the month versus the S&P up 2.65% over the same five-week expiration cycle. The Advantage portfolio also generates call income, and it generated 0.87% in call income after selling 50% of its possible calls. 35% of the portfolio was called away, and it was up 2.18% during the five-week period, again, versus the S&P up 2.65%. Feel free to leave comments or questions to this post. Click the like button and share it if you felt that it was informative. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our FluentFinancial.com website for further information. As always, thank you for tuning in and have a great week.